He's been tinkering with the lineup the last few games, and even though they've had a couple of weeks off for their Christmas holiday. Well, they need some better shooting, and they're hoping Williams will become that shooter, that other weapon from the outside. Wow. Fouled out late in the game, and that allowed Oklahoma to miss a couple of free throws on purpose and almost send that game to overtime. Well, he's becoming more of a force, and you can see how comfortable he's getting as the season progresses the transfer. And probably a top-10 team in the nation if they win those two games. Now they get the steal generated, likely leading it, takes it, and that's swatted away by Santos Silva. Three, right side, got it. Good start for Bryce Williams, his second bucket of the game. One pass away, they're going to be up and at him in the passing lane in here. The great skip pass in transition and kind of a slow closeout by McCuller in the corner. Right now, they've got Texas Tech a little bit standing around, not getting into the gaps with either the pass or the dribble. Edwards knocks it on. Kyler Edwards. Likely. Gets it back, able to lay it in, reversing. December 20th when they lost in Austin by three to the Longhorns. And unable to connect with Terrence Shannon underneath. Tech turns it over. Catch and shoot three, got it. December 20th when they lost in Austin by three to the Longhorns. And unable to connect with Terrence Shannon underneath. Tech turns it over. Catch and shoot three, got it the first step but then the second step is you've got to knock down the shots and they're really executing right now count it and the foul on Cunningham Bryce Williams though three for three from beyond the arc to start this game got Rondell Walker now in for the Cowboys underneath Boone lays it in situation with the COVID but Oklahoma State had 13 days off and Looks like they really worked on their offense, their confidence, and their aggressiveness. Likely. McClung trying to thread his way through and look to pass it down low to Shannon, but that's intercepted. Then a foul at midcourt. Shannon giving a look for Santos Silva, but McClung shoots the three. The drive by Boone rolls off the rim. Rebound pulled down, but taken away and flushed by Anderson. Traffic after you grab a rebound, you've got to make sure that you have some space before you start putting the ball on the floor. And that time on the quick outlet, Shannon just put the ball down and then turned around and Anderson with the quickness. Traffic after you grab a rebound, you've got to make sure that you have some space before you start putting the ball on the floor, and that time on the quick outlet. Good look, good ball reversal. Cunningham had himself spaced, feet set, just couldn't knock it in. That was just his second shot attempt of the game, and there's a lay-in by Terrence Shannon. Mark Neely, Tim Walsh, glad to have you with us. Eight-point lead, Cowboys led by as many as a dozen, and Anderson jumper good with the shot clock expiring. Santos Silva. Edwards, a spin, and gets it to drop. Underneath, likely, and one. By the way, Cunningham has three assists today. Trying to find his second bucket, gives it up for likely, who's rainbows that in. Did not score in that game in 36 minutes against the Jayhawks. McClung got it in a two possession game. Nice pass from McClung. Edwards tried to pass back out. He doesn't shoot the ball well. He doesn't attack it as well as they do their man. They're still going to beat your zone if you're not ready to shift in it and practice it a lot. Oklahoma State looks fluid, zone, and offense. He does not have any foul issues. Cunningham trying to create 17-footer good. Defense so well. He plays with his head up. He's got great balance, great pace. The defense is ready to attack him, but they've got good spacing. Right now, they're pushing the right buttons. Anderson sees a crease and takes it to the rim and lays it in. And a five on the shot clock. 
stepping in. Shannon! Cunningham. Jump stop in the lane. Underneath, laid in. Nice ball movement there by Oklahoma State. Santos Silva, Cunningham guarding. McClung. Shot as he was coming back down on that jumper and drains that. Last possession though, Mark Neely. Just took it one-on-one -on -one with no passes in the offense. Tip Santos Silva. Cunningham has it. Oklahoma State has numbers if they want to take it. Boone underneath the reverse land. Under the three-minute mark. Tech the ball up one. was hot about that call, but he was hot, more hot about the foul on McCuller that gave Cunningham the three free throws that sent the game into overtime. And right out of the shoot in the overtime, McClung puts it up and knocks down a three. Likely. Tip, loose. Second opportunity, good, and one. Go to work. Jump hook or make a pass. And that time, the help came a little bit, and on the backside, just... McClung's pass picked off. Williams stops. This is just great defense. Just a loose pass on the perimeter and a little bit McClung's fault and a little bit McCullers fault not coming to meet the pass but just a little too loose with the basketball and a soft pass and Bryce Williams athletic. Tech's going to switch all pick and excuse me Oklahoma State's going to switch all pick and rolls with McClung. McClung and one and a huge play for McClung driving to the rim and a chance for a three-point play for Tech. Want to help off him and that allowed Kevin McCuller basically a one-on-one. -on -one. Burnett passed up the shot, but Edwards takes it and hits a three. That one after the tie-up. Look, they drew the whole defense into the middle of the lane, and still got to stay home on the perimeter, protect, especially against Edwards. No, the scouting report. Don't forget the scouting report late in the game. He's the one guy that's going to burn you. That one after the tie-up. Look, they drew the whole defense into the middle of the lane, and we get it in the hands of Edwards. Stolen away by Oklahoma State. Mitchell. Stolen away by Oklahoma State. Mitchell, Anderson, and the Cowboys win it in overtime on the road in Lubbock.